I got a simple, simple recipe here for you guys. So um, how many of you guys do protein shakes, smoothies kind of thing? Okay. So I have a really easy smoothie recipe that we're going to do. And this is what I would consider my version of fast food because it's literally, it's going to take me about, well, if I wasn't talking, it would take me about a minute. So when, we, um, when I'm making a smoothie, I usually start with some sort of greens. Now I've tried all the different greens, um, and I will say my least favorite in smoothies is kale, just because you can still taste it. And so the trick is to sneak stuff in that you can't taste. So um, I start with spinach. Spinach is the easiest thing because it gets blended up um, and you can't taste it very well. So I'm gonna do a handful of spinach, and this would serve one person. So I'm going to do a handful of spinach in the bottom of this. Okay, and then next up, so we know vegetables have a lot of good nutrients in it. It's really nutrient dense. So um, that's what that serves. Now I'm going to put some fruit in it because it's got to taste good, right? So this is what you need. This makes you like it. So this is also what you need. So we've got some frozen mixed berries. Um, I've got some blackberries and some strawberries. You know what, I've got a glove on, let's do this. And I usually, for one person, I'll do a handful of um, greens and then about a cup of mixed berries. And then um, the next thing, so we've got vegetables, we've got fruit. The next thing is we need protein, and we'll talk a little bit more why, but this is essential just to keep your body functioning, your cells um, working well. If I can get this open. Uh-oh, got my little scoop in. It's, it's usually at the bottom. Isn't that always the scoop? So um, I, I picked vanilla protein because um, it plays well with everybody. It gets along well with everybody. Um, you can, you know, you can get creative if you want, you know, peanut butter, cinnamon swirl. It's up to you, but um, this just plays well. And it's usually just one scoop for one person. Um, if you've been training, you might do two, sco two scoops. Or if you're um, a larger person, you might do two scoops. Um, and then, of course, we need, um, oops, I almost forgot. I'm putting avocado in there. You guys know what this purpose this serves? Goodness, <laughs> Goodness pretty much. Um, so this is a healthy fat. It has a little bit of carbs in it. But really, a lot of the nutrients from the fruits and the vegetables can't fully get absorbed into our body without the fat. So you can either do half of an avocado. It makes it really creamy. You could also do avocado oil. I would stay away from coconut oil because it doesn't blend well with cold things. And then olive oil, you taste it, and then you're like, this doesn't taste good. I'm not going to drink this. So I usually do a tablespoon of all, um, avocado or half, uh, excuse me, a tablespoon of avocado oil or half of an avocado. And then um, you could do almond milk for a liquid. You could also just do water. Um, it's just enough to kind of blend it up. All right, and then I literally make this on a regular basis, quick and easy. Okay, and it's, it's a big smoothie, as you can tell. Um, this is probably like two serving portion. Um, but this is usually what um, I'll blend, at, blend up if um, you know, we have a busy day with our kids um, and we're gonna be out for a while, but this is really my version, like I said, of fast food. And it's got all of the ingredients that you need and it's a little bit elevated because if you go to the smoothie bars, you know, those are super popular right now. Um, has a lot of a lot of sugar in it just because it's usually like a fruit base fruit juice base um, so this way again kind of elevating those ingredients um, you can choose and you can pick what goes in there so we've done this lots um, tropical fruit whatever your preference is so um, we're gonna bring the smoothie out so you guys can sample but before we move on questions so far about anything you guys doing good yeah It is, it can be whatever you want it to be, yes. 
So um, I, I like that you bring up, so this actually can serve as a meal if you want. Um, I think we have this idea in our head that meals are one thing and snacks are another thing and really it's just we're consuming food. So if you know that you have a busy afternoon or you know that you, when you go on shift, um, you're at a busy house and so you're running calls constantly, this might be something either you have the ingredients to blend up or you pre-blend it and because it's got frozen berries in it, it stays pretty well in your, your little lunch cooler and you can just drink it when you need it. And there's so many variations with what you can do here um, that you can make it a little bit lighter on the calories or you can pack it and make it pretty dense that um, you know it's enough fuel for a good three, four hours. So good question, yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're ready to roll. That's awesome. Totally. Yeah, because that's, I mean, I think that's the worst thing is if you show up and like, oh, I didn't, I was rushed this morning. I didn't have time to eat breakfast. Now we're going to hit a workout. And then, like you said, a call comes in halfway through your workout you don't have any energy on board to help you. Um, so some things in those situations, again, everything is very nuanced for the individual. So if you know that you're running busy calls, I would throw a banana in here or throw some honey in here because that's gonna be some good simple carbs to keep your energy stores up. Um, and there's so many options out there that you could, um, you could just experiment with. So I saw a couple other hands, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm a mom of three kids. I'm not freezing my own berries. <laughs> I definitely buy it frozen, yes, yeah. Um, so really just pay attention to the ingredient list. I, when I haven't seen frozen, I mean you can buy them like in juices, but for the most part frozen berries, it's just frozen berries. Yeah, so just flip around the back and look at the ingredient list. Yes, and you had a question. Very good question. So her question, what would I suggest for protein if you have a gluten sensitivity or intolerance? Um, I, would, I would say go to your, either your local supplement store and talk with them. Um, there are so many options. There's vegan protein. There's even cricket protein. Have y'all heard of this? This is pretty, sounds pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try it yet, but there's pea protein. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, you know, you, you know if you are, or your family knows if you are. <laughs> Um, you could you explore lots of options. So yeah, I would, I would ask what they have and that way you can sample some things because the worst is like, oh, I got this protein and it cost me $75 and it tastes like garbage. Yeah, so other question. Um, I'm a realist. So if you can, if you can choose organic, um, I say the better, but there's, there's a list out there. So the Environmental Working Group has a Dirty Dozen and a Clean 15. Um, and the Dirty Dozen are really the ones that are loaded with all the pesticides that have an impact on you. Um, so I would just, when you can, get organic from those. Um, but again, every, everybody's different. So if you're just buying berries and you're not, you don't normally eat fruit, just getting you to eat berries is a step in the right direction.